and thanks for joining me. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of all the ways to use speech to text in Philips Speech Live. So what I'd like to do first, of course, is start where all dictations start, and that is with the author. Let me share my smartphone. And here is my smartphone. My app is already open. I'm going to hit my plus button to create a new dictation. I have the option to create either a speech to text dictation where I watch the text come up in front of me, or I can create an audio file and simply send it to the speech to text engine on the back end. In this case, I'm going to do a speech to text dictation. Hit the record button and off I go. Good afternoon, Don, common new paragraph. Thank you so much for taking the time to go through the contract with me, period. I think that I have made notes of all the changes required, period, new paragraph. I will be sure to make those changes and get this back to you this afternoon, as I know that this is a short turnaround for the client, period, new paragraph. Talk soon, comma, Caroline. I now have the option to copy and paste this somewhere else on my smartphone. But really what I want to do is I want to send it to my assistant so that they can format it, make any changes required and send it out. So I'm going to hit my check mark. And I'm going to say finish. This will go to my assistant and show up in the work list as correction pending. I'm now going to create a second dictation where I will send it to the speech to text engine on the back end. Hello, Don, common new paragraph. As per our discussion this morning, I have made all the changes required, period, new paragraph. Please let me know if there is anything I have missed, period, new paragraph. By the way, comma, I will be in your area on Friday and was hoping we could grab lunch, period, new paragraph. Let me know if you will be available, period, new paragraph. Cheers, comma, Caroline. Now, when I hit my check mark, I'm going to say send this to speech to text on the back end. Choose my language and off it goes. You will now see in my sent folder, I have my two dictations. One has an attachment. The other will go through speech to text. If I do a quick refresh, I'm now logged into the browser. You will see my three dictations. The one that I did uh, front end, one that I did back end. And I also have a job here that's transcription pending. This was an original audio. So as an author or a typist, when I logged into the browser, I can decide to send a dictation to the backend speech to text engine at any given time. I will just click on the job. You see that I have this little icon called send to speech to text. I pick my language once again. Now you see that it has changed from transcription pending to queued for speech to text. I'm sure if I do a quick refresh, it is now correction pending. So I have three speech to text dictations that I did three different ways. One that I sent from the browser after the fact, one that I sent to the speech to text engine in the back end, and one where I dictated on my smartphone, watched the text come up and sent it to my assistant. My assistant then will take any dictation, click on the cloud and download the transcript. It downloads as a Word doc. I can then open it up. Opening up over here, I'll pull it over. Okay, so here's the dictation that I did. I can then listen to the original audio, correct and edit the text and save it to wherever it needs to be saved. I have one other capability um, of dictating what's called front end within the browser application. So. The previous two I did from my smartphone. The last one I sent from the browser. And in this case, I'm going to create a speech to text dictation directly in the browser. I've got this little icon here. 
And you can see that if I hover over it, it says start speech to text. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick dictation. Hey, Bob, how many paragraph? Just wanted to let you know I had a meeting with Dawn this morning and we went over all the changes that were required for the contract period. I did send it out to Dawn this afternoon and have not heard any feedback, so I assume everything is as expected, period, new paragraph. I will keep you posted if there are any further changes. Period, new paragraph, regards, comma, new line, Caroline. Now, of course, you can see that speech to text is not always completely correct. So I do have the ability to make any small changes I would like. And then, of course, I can send this to my assistant and have them put it in the proper template, heading, formatting, everything that needs to be done. I'm just going to click the finish. Okay, I now have four speech to text dictations done four different ways. And there's one more way to use the speech to text capability. We also have what's called our desktop app which allows you to create a dictation anywhere that you can put your cursor on your desktop. You can download that from our Speech Live website. And basically, this will sit on your desktop. I can control it with the plus on my keyboard. Hello, Don, common new paragraph. I didn't hear back from you, but I assume that there were no further changes required to the contract, period, new paragraph. I did mention that I was available for lunch on Friday, period. Will you be around? Question mark. New paragraph. Look forward to seeing you then, period. So anywhere that I can put my cursor, I can now dictate and send my email, my create a Word document, Excel, my CRM, my case management, anywhere that I would like to put my cursor and dictate. So that concludes all of the ways that you can use the speech to text feature within Speech Live. If you would like to find the uh, application, you basically go to Speech Live, go to resources and help. You then browse till you get to the Speech Live desktop app, click installation, and you will find a link to download the little app that I just showed you that allows you to dictate anywhere that you can put your cursor. If you have any questions, please reach out to your Philips authorized reseller that supports you when it comes to Speech Live and all of your other dictation requirements. Thank you so much and have a great day.